Today I want to show you the most, or explain to you the most simple description of a golf swing you've probably ever heard. When children learn the game, they basically only need a decent example of a golf swing and then they'll copy it. Visually, children are able to watch a good golfer and imitate them. As an adult, you are no longer really capable of doing this, but you will still be driven by your visualization of a golf swing. And a golf swing is so complicated that sometimes you will simply misinterpret it. You will think that something's happening which really isn't happening. And today I really want to give you a very simple model of what a golf swing actually is. You can think of it as four circles, three of which are all in front of your body. The feeling of your shoulders rotating at the center of the circle, your hands following the rotation of your shoulders, and the club head following the rotation of your hands around this central axis. These three circles are the ones which are moving the club up and down and around your body. These are the three circles which are going to control where the ball goes and how well it goes. The fourth circle is your hips and the fourth circle to some extent is driving and supporting the upper three circles. Your hips are rotating and because of their connection through your body and through the spine they are carrying rotation over into your upper body. With this lower rotation, this lower circle not to work, it will simply block the upper rotation. But it's the upper rotation which is doing the majority of the work as far as hitting the golf ball. Now, that hopefully sounds easy enough. I want to take it a step further and get you to think a little bit about what you're going to be seeing from your perspective as a golfer. You are in the middle of these, this upper circle. Your eyes are looking out first at your hands and then at the club because of this plane of movement that this circle is <coughs> excuse me, generating. When you are rotating, you are rotating your shoulders in the same angle as the golf club was standing at address. This way you can move the club around yourself, but it means when you look out at your hands, your hands are away from your body and more importantly the club head is even further away. So for an awful lot of the time where you can actually see where the club head is, the shaft seems to be pointing away from you. And this will give the impression that you are moving the club outside of the line. From the the camera down the line, however, you will be able to see if I put a ball on the ground here and say this is my ball to target line here. As I move the club away, I am looking out along the shaft. It looks to me visually as if it's outside the line, but the camera can confirm it's actually inside the line. This is a picture that you've also got to allow to happen in the downswing. Allow the club head to overtake your hands. Now I'm not talking about flipping the wrist, I'm talking about a visual picture of the club seemingly being outside of the line from the downhill camera. But if you look at it relative to the golf ball, it's not. As your hands have actually reached the golf ball and are moving back to the inside, the club head is still moving out towards the golf ball. And this picture is extremely important for you to be able to get the right movements into your swing. If you keep rotating your shoulders, this will happen automatically. However, if you see that this is happening and believe it to be wrong, then you will block your shoulder rotation and you will try and drop the club more on the inside. This is a picture that maybe a lot of you have actually seen in golf magazines. You think this is somewhere you want to be getting to. This picture actually means that the club head is coming far too much from the inside towards the ball. And it's a picture that a lot of people are trying to get to 
which you really should not be trying to do. Allowing the club head to release even in, before you get to the ball is necessary to keep the club head moving on its path through the ball. It's a contradiction of, of a lot of the pictures and understandings that you might have had about a golf swing and it's something that I wanted to tell you about before I go into putting the whole swing together. Putting the whole swing together is probably going to be a very boring video and, and also quite a long one. Understanding the sequence of movements, the steps you've got to go through to take the club back and swing it through the ball. But in order for you to do that correctly, I believe you've got to have a better understanding of how these three or four circles are actually working. The first three, the shoulders, the hands and the club are moving around a tilted central axis through the golf ball. Your hips and your feet are driving the hips around, causing them to help and support the rotation of your shoulders, a little bit like a windmill. You've got the sails at the front and you've got the grinder at the bottom and they are connected over gears which are allowing a rotation in two different planes. If I block the rotation down here, then I'm blocking the sails and the sails would not be able to go round. If the sails are having to push the, the grinder, the mill at the bottom around and, it, and it's resisting them, they're gonna have a problem and that's why you are trying to get your legs to help you to turn your hips but it's not up to your hips or even your feet to decide where the ball's going that's all down to the upper three circles a little bit kind of esoteric to, esoteric today i hope you can get a kind of a picture um, of what i'm talking about next time we're going to put it all together and show you how to build your swing from scratch given that you've done the first few videos and got the basic movements going. As ever, if you like the video, please uh, subscribe, hit the like button if you liked it. To all of my patrons, thanks again for your support during the season. Uh, if you would like to become a patron to the site, I shall leave a link below. Until the next time, bye-bye.